Hello everybody, this is Ludo and eventually I can make a final video of the complete project of the modification of my PRS McCarty 2001 model and as you can see now the headstock has been completely finished and I applied a nice flame maple cap and new tuners uh, Goto SD510 uh, suggested by Bill Kin of Tone Tech. And if you remember, we have already, you know, seen the new model of pearls uh, dots. We have the rosewood pickup rings. And now we have eventually two volume controls and a tone. And under each of the two volume controls, there is uh, a push pull, these are CTS pots, a new vertical three way toggle, and the original volume pot has been used now for the tone control. I, uh, together with uh, the huge help uh, and, and you know, work from Jake Parkhurst from Parkhurst 19, uh, a pickup maker here in Southampton, we uh, we designed the, the wiring and the electronics so that we're going to mimic basically the wiring and the treble bleed, uh, treble bleed circuitry of the McCarty 594. This is uh, already a, a modification of the past. It's, a, it's a, another PRS adjustable bridge. Um, and then, of course, the original modification also, you know, uh, comprehended the... Um, the change of the varnish on the back. So this is the complete project. As you can see, it was a bit tricky to find the exact color matching. And the main difference that you might see is actually coming from the fact that this is gloss and this is matte. Uh, but, you know, that's the beauty of a one-off. And let's give you some tones out of this. And so what I normally do is that I really enjoy, you know, playing with both single coil and humbucker com combination. So now I am in single coil on the neck and you have... And then of course if I put in the middle position I have single and humbucker on the bridge and it goes I can make it even darker I really like it so dark If we go the other way around, I can have what I call a King Crimson tone because I really love to play. of 
single coil and a buffer or single coil and buffer depending on where you are they really respond in a very dynamic way to to uh, to any kind of uh, finger picking and <laughs> Again, thanks a lot to Jake Parkhurst uh, for helping me and sourcing, you know, parts and components and even the, you know, uh, the stains for for the veneer. <coughs> and and just do it, guys, because it's not difficult. You can buy those guitars much cheaper than the new ones, and they're great instruments, really. And it just makes, you know, such a difference making your own modifications. I hope you enjoy this, and you know. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> 